Hmm. I love the face shape. But everything else is terrible. Um, these teeth are too big at the top and that's what the problem is and I was trying to figure out um, why I don't like them. You can't really figure that out unless you just kind of go in with it and because I don't want this to be like as bad as it is and I know like I'm gonna cover it with hair so I don't have that much to worry about but um I'm not gonna lie this is scary <laughs> uh she looks so scary excuse me guys while I try to fix this like I said it's a lot to fix and a lot to work with especially when you don't know what you're working with I definitely do not. And also too, if you're not in the mindset to draw, don't expect your drawings to be good. If you're tired, if you're sluggish, if you're hungry, your drawings, they're gonna do some weird things because you're not gonna be in the artist brain. So trying to find yourself and put yourself in an artist brain is gonna be very, very hard for y'all. It's hard for me, especially in right now because I just want to do other things. But I also want to get this done and I want to um, really work. And I'm being soft. I'm trying to soften what I did from up above. I want this to be a lot darker here. And this is why I encourage you guys to really just follow, follow your reference. Print out that reference that I'm posting onto Google Classroom because what I might not catch that I'm doing, because I don't catch it until sometimes the very end. The blend sometimes, how I'm um, creating, oh my god, this looks so great. <laughs> don't like it um but I don't catch it sometimes and that's why if you guys catch something and you're like oh that's off focus on the actual image don't focus on what I'm doing because I'm drawing it along with you guys um in drawing class well especially well, more specifically this one I think we're, it's like just a good um workout trying to figure out with you guys what we are doing because um that's good but for me uh painting is where I teach a lot better because I know my painting skills that is just something that I've I can whip out I can teach you step by step but this is a little bit more of a struggle for me too Even though I'm a lot better at drawing, it's still not something that I'm quite, that I enjoy a lot more. Like, I still get frustrated, just like anybody else, when they don't, when they're not good at something. I still get frustrated. I still get angry. I still get the feelings that you guys feel. You know, when you're not good at something, but you're trying your hardest, I still kind of get upset. And I get, I get, I feel, I feel things, you know. And I'm going to kind of fill that slightly in. I'm going to go in with this. And you know what? It's a learning experience for everyone. Because I'm trying my best. You guys are trying your best. I don't like it. And I might do this like 20 million times until I like it. This is a very creepy child. I like my other child better. But you know what? 
let's try. And this is when critiques come in. I would typically go to somebody and say, hey, what should I fix? I don't like this. It's frustrating me. And usually I can get somebody to tell me like, oh, hey, this looks weird. Or maybe you should try this a little bit more. And that helps me a lot as an artist because I'm like, I don't know what the heck I am doing. This is hard. And you know, like I get, I get the same feelings you guys do when you guys are trying and working your best on something, but it doesn't turn out as good as you planned it to, or, you know, you feel confident at first because you're like, oh, wow, I got this base shape down great. Like it's really close. And I think I got the likeness and then you start filling it in and then you're like, ah, uh, never mind. But you know what? I'm just going to keep, keep at it. I'm going to kind of come in here and use this to do some eyebrow. And same here. Um, I'm going to kind of start with um, up here. Make a general guideline real quick. And then just kind of flick and kind of do little hairs. I love hair. Um, Sometimes I'm not great at it, depending on it. Um, I think the best way to get hair is, especially eyebrows, um, is a sharper pencil than what I have, but you know, you can always take a tortillon, extend them. I think hairs are really fun to try and to work with. And like I said, I, I'm not very good at getting likeness sometimes. Sometimes I hit it right on the nail. But you know, it's a work in progress. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of create um, some wisps. Um, and you can even kind of even do like strands like this to, you know whatever you feel a little bit more comfortable with down here it's going to be so much darker and you can even you know just play with your lines because you never know um what you are going to be creating at least not yet you're just going to kind of Kind of just tackle it. I mean, that's what I do, and that's like my life drawing model. Just tackle it. And the more I kind of go in, the more I might like something better. So I just kind of fill in the space. If you kind of want it more wavy, you know, do it more wavy. You know, it just kind of depends on what you're working on. Do you want to do kind of more? traditional, you know, windblown, kind of Pocahontas thing, you know, focus on that. And I'm just kind of making some dark strands. We are working on white paper, not really toned paper. So I'm kind of doing that in order to kind of just, just kind of develop some darkness um, and then I'm going to kind of blend it all out. This is a lot of blending. That's really what we're going to do is we're just blending a lot of it out and just playing with it. And that's what I love the most about, um, about doing art is I love being able to play with tons of things and really find what I like textures I love 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 texture and playing with it so that's kind of what I do I just I have fun and even if it looks absolutely dreadful I don't get too butt hurt about it because that's kind of what I want is I want to expand and then I see how terrible something is and that kind of motivates me to get so much better and I'm also adding different pencils, seeing if the value change will help me. It might, it might not, and you know. I 
You can also go in with kneadable eraser and do it that way. And I'm also kind of following some grooves here. I'm following the motion of the, of the weave and the curl. So that way it's got um, texture to it. Because that's, that's ideally what we're trying to do is we're trying to follow the grain when you're drawing. Follow the contour lines. And I'm just having so much fun. I don't like the noise, but you know. That's the one thing in drawing class that drove me nuts. <laughs> was listening to the squeaking and the scratching. I love the sound of charcoal, but. Um, I hate the sound of like these blending stumps and stuff. Uh, where they go. I don't like it. As you can see, like, it kind of, like, as you kind of play with it more, you can, um, have so much fun with, like, the excess, and you can see what you like, lighter wisps, where it's darker, you know. I love, love, love working and figuring out what I like a lot better, and how I want it to look. I really kind of just... I love to play with it and to just let go a little bit more. I feel like sometimes when we draw, especially, well, more, more me if anything, when I draw I kind of get too serious a little bit sometimes and doing these like classes with you guys I'm like learning a lot of like skills to just let go a lot more, to not be too serious, just to have some fun. also to kind of like just learn it's such a great learning opportunity to just sit and draw every week and I haven't really been able to do that very much and that's not um it's not a tedious thing to do it's just I I typically have a lot I do a lot in my daily life so it's really fun to really just play and see what I'm doing a lot I'm kind of going to do the same over here. I noticed that right here is where it's really dark. And um, I'm just going to kind of focus on some simplistic things. I want to formulate some value of where, like, I want the curls to be in fluid motion of where they're going, why they're going a specific way. I want to just have it make a little bit more sense. Like, hey, these hairs go in part here this way because of the wind. And you can kind of see it a little bit better. So it's kind of really what I'm doing. And it's really, really light up here. And I mean, you can make it as dark and as light as you feel. And I'm trying to, like, also... You can also take, like, a needable eraser to create some highlight. If that is what you wish for. Or you can just kind of leave some white space just for the fun of it, you know, be as texturized or um, whatever you feel, you know. I want you guys to really feel when you guys are drawing because that's, that's what really helps. And it's really weird to say because, like, it makes no sense sometimes. But I want you guys to kind of feel it, like, feel what the curls are are when you when it's in your hands how do curls work you know sense it you know when you're draw when I'm drawing I definitely try to develop into my senses like I want it to be as believable as I possibly can and that's kind of what helps is like you add something you want to you want your painting to especially with like realism you want somebody to think wow I really just want to pick up that strawberry and I just want it take a big bite out of it that looks like the most amazing strawberry on the planet and in art that's really what you want to do is you want to convince the viewer of your work and it doesn't I mean it doesn't really have to be like exactly real like 
it can whatever you're doing like you want them to say like oh if you're drawing you know clouds or something you want them to be like oh wow that's such a fluffy cloud like i just wish i can jump into it or oh it looks like cotton candy like i wonder what it feels like to like take a bite out of it would it melt like cotton candy and you know ask yourself these questions while you're creating because you're gonna find some crazy things that goes through your mind you know art even though it's fun and it's meant to be an outlet you can also make it to where it motivates people and helps you grow and that's that's just as important i think art is a really amazing therapy that a lot of people don't quite um I take into collection you know like you don't really think about it that much I definitely don't sometimes sometimes I'm just thinking oh I'm just painting this because I have an event coming on or oh I'm just thinking of this because I'm just just trying to draw something and you know when you put intentions into your work that's when you're going to find a lot, a lot of growth. And I'm kind of, I covered the eye a lot, but, um, you know what? I'm just going to kind of go with it, you know? You, like, like in painting, you never know what you're going to lay down. Sometimes you just lay it down and you're like, whoops, oh well. <laughs> this kind of situation right here is that I was like, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. And you know, sometimes it's those, you know, it's a really great intention and you don't realize it until you finish and until you really sit down and just tell yourself it's okay to just play. It's okay to just find and, you know, just be general. You don't have to be so planned out all the time. And, you know, I would definitely do that with my art. I would have to plan it out. I would sit here and say, oop, nope, don't like this. This isn't perfect. And you know what? Nothing in life is perfect. And so don't ever expect your art to be in the same wavelength. Kind of slowly separate some things, figure things out, find some layouts so when I'm blending I can add more or add less, you know, whatever I feel. You can make her hair straight if that's what you're comfortable with. I love curl, well, cause, not just because I personally have curly hair, but um, I love like what curly hair does. It adds so much like... I love adding the mess. I, I don't know, just something about it. It makes it lively. And I love, I love that about art is like how lively it can be. Because even if I just did a line art, like this hair looks, I don't know, I just love, I love hair. Ooh. I love everything about it. It adds so much depth and it shows a lot more than like what I know a lot of people think or feel when they're when they're drawing. Like I, I love this side. Like I love the textures and things. So I'm gonna kind of like try to um gonna try to acknowledge here and like I said I'm probably gonna have to kind of come in add more texture in there but that comes in time like you just you don't even think about it you just kind of oh I like this let me add this here instead and see like how the layers just slowly pop out Ooh, I love it and you know that one thing can change your mindset like at first like as i was saying before ew i don't like this this is not good and that's that's how i changed my mindset about it is i sat down and said hey 
I just don't feel as good about this as I did the other one and then you slowly build up and you're like oh wait actually this isn't that bad this is this is getting better Yeah, I'm also going to try to like blend it into the top here because the top is light. Technically she's blonde, but I can make her a brunette if I want. And that's the thing about um, value too. Sometimes you hit or miss like, oh, you accidentally make it look like um, she's more brunette than she is brown or uh, blonde. And you know what? It's okay. And actually I'm going to kind of come into the top and just make it a little bit like I'm going to contour some of these curls up here because it's not that I didn't think that it did its job like it was supposed to. There we go. And same here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to kind of stop here. This is kind of where we worked. Um, I'm going to post this up. I'm going to include an image of the reference that I'm working with. If you guys tried, you know, to make it exactly like the reference and not kind of be more stylistic, you know, it's up to you. You do you. And I'm going to kind of let you guys go. Um, and let me know if you guys just want to continue this, um, we can continue this drawing on Thursday. And, uh, what I'll probably do is, um, yeah, I'll just continue this on the Thursday class. We can just kind of, that's when I'll be able to do the meeting. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday, so Wednesday we have painting, painting we worked on, um, we're working on this right here this willow tree painting so i will redo this is will be redone tomorrow on uh i'm doing we're gonna five by seven so we'll have tomorrow a zoom meeting class working with this and then um we'll continue that and work on that as time goes so while we are at it i'm going to let you guys go and have a wonderful day